So guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make really awesome videos by just you. behind it the main reason being the convenience it's really easy to just take your phone out out of your pocket and start shooting right away second reason why I like to shoot with my phone is because of the homely atmosphere you can create with your phone footage that's gonna look really nice when you're blending all the different type of footage together to create a final product so in this video I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips and tricks that I like to use when I'm shooting with my phone so the first tip I'd like to talk about is the camera settings and I normally like to shoot at 1080p at 60 frames per second just to keep all the file size down and of course have the ability to slow down the footage in post production. So another quick tip I'd like to briefly talk about is you have to shoot in a landscape mode. So what essentially happens when you shoot in portrait mode is that you're gonna get this really annoying bars like black bars at the side and when you go on and scale the footage you're gonna lose a lot of image quality. So always use the landscape and you're gonna have no problems regarding the quality of your footage. So another very important tip I'd like to talk about is the use of in-camera transitions when you're shooting. What I mean by that is you wanna take plenty of shots with a lot of movements, movements such as simple panning or dolly shot. Later on in edit, you'll have so much flexibility. You can speed ram, you can cut, you can do pretty much anything you wanna do. And yeah, plenty of in-camera transitions. As easy as that, as you can see, your preview is right here. I'm gonna make it a bit more bigger because I like working in bigger workspace. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the same process for every single footage, just so I select everything and I know what I'm working with. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm gonna try and reposition pretty much all these shots so that they match and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I'm doing this process. So what I've done here is I've created these six different sequences which I'm going to be using footage from to create a final sequence. So as you can see from the sequence, this little sequence has all the shots that is either panning this way or panning this way. This shot is panning from left to right, this shot is panning from left to right, this shot is panning from... So that is all the footage that I have that is panning from left to right. And in this sequence, uh, the camera is panning from up to down. So up to down or down to up. So what I can essentially do is I can just reverse the shot and create that up to down motion. So this is down to up, up to down, up to down, down to up. So what I'm going to be doing in the final sequence is that I'm going to be speed ramping the start and the end. So once I speed ramp the both ends, I'm going to get that really smooth up to down motion. So now I am planning to create the final sequence and I want to play shots in a way that there is a story behind it. So I'm looking for an establishing shot first. I think this is a pretty good shot to start with. So what I want to do with this shot is I want to make it into a slow mo and I'm going to set the speed to about 50%. Right, so as you can see it, it has smoothened up. So I've left two second gap here just to place the text at the end and what I want to do with this shot is I want it to kind of fade from black. So I'm going to go to uh, transform, go to opacity, go to the first frame, set the opacity to zero, hit the keyframe button, go about roughly one second in and set the opacity 100. So what this essentially does, it just kind of fades from black into the actual footage so i think i'm gonna make this a bit longer so just gonna drag the keyframe and that's looking pretty good so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm gonna create a speed ramp uh, between these two clips so there are a couple of different ways to do speed ramps in filmora pro how i like to do is by simply cutting the end and the start of the shot i want the transition to be in so after I cut out both the clips, uh, I'm gonna right click, go to speed, duration, and I'm gonna set this to around 250%. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna follow the same step uh, to ramp up the end and the start of this shot. But 
as you can see I'm finished creating a sequence and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start color correcting this footage so once I color correct I'm gonna add a couple of sound layers and then finally export the video so right now I'm gonna show you guys the final video the final output of what we created in Filmora Pro So guys, this is what we created with the iPhone footage on the Filmora Pro. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And just remember, you don't need an expensive camera when you're starting off. All you need is a good editing software and just a phone. I shot many videos with iPhone 4 for like two months before finally buying my very first camera. My very first editing software was also Filmora. I just find it really user friendly. I definitely do think that if you're starting off your YouTube career, this is the software that you need to go after. Check it out. I'll put the link in the description below where you can get it for free. And I will also put the download link of the files in the description so you can try it out yourself. And once you edit all those footage, make sure to tag me if you're uploading on your social media platform. I'll be sure to give feedback on every one of you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.